but yeah today i'm gonna go to my parents since i haven't you know gone out after i quarantine so it's my first time going out all right you guys so i split my bangs so now i'm gonna go ahead and just put my hair up So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some gel before I tie my hair. So now I'm gonna tie my hair. And if you guys are wondering, I use this extreme styling gel um in number 10 because it holds my hair way longer and yeah and i like to whatever gel i have left i just like to put it a little bit here all right you guys so i went ahead and um just wet my sponge uh this sponge uh i got it for my christmas gift um uh, my boyfriend's mom she gave me this and i was curious enough to go and look it up online um because i never had like black sponges before so i thankfully found it on amazon and i it comes like three sponges and a and a contour brush and i already used those two other sponges and they work absolutely amazing you guys so I'm gonna link the link down below or the name of the sponges so that way you guys can look it up. And yeah, you guys, I really, really recommend these sponges. All right, guys, so I didn't put anything on my face. So the first thing I go ahead and do is apply this ordinary um, serum. It has niacinum. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, you guys, but I'm gonna write it down here. Um, it has 10% of that and 1% of zinc. You guys, before when the pandemic first started, I had the worst, the worst acne ever. And mind you, I usually am barely get acne, but when the pandemic first started, I had the worst, worst acne ever. I had it all around here, you guys. You could still see a little bit, but it's not as severe as it was way, way, way back. And obviously, I got so worried. I got so worried. And let me... This is the thing about me. Like, when I'm talking, I just stop whatever I'm doing. But I have to learn how to do that, you guys. But yeah, like I was saying, I got worried and... I started searching up what can I possibly do in order to help my acne go away. And I came across a lot of information and, you know, call me cheap, but I wanted a serum that wasn't too expensive, you know. So I found a lot of um, beauties um, that who recommended this serum, The Ordinary. Um, it had a ton of good reviews, so I went ahead and bought it, and I was constantly um, putting it on every um, every day whenever I went to work, every single day, especially like down here, and you guys, I saw the results immediately, immediately, you guys, and I was so happy, so thankful, and now I use that every single day, you know? So if you guys are struggling with acne, you guys, I really, really, really recommend that. And, and make sure that you uh, apply it every single day before you apply anything, all right? Yeah, <laughs> I really, really recommend that. And then after that, um, if I want to go crazy, I usually um, apply vitamin C. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to go crazy today. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying my moisturizer so i apply this just to moisturize my face i put 
put it all over my hips. I don't know if I should wear this shirt. Like I'm debating. I'm also debating on putting this one. Just because it's comfortable, you guys. Like it's super comfortable. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me go change it and see why. So this is how this one looks. It's just like a long sleeve. So I think I'm going to go with this one, you guys. Because it's really, really comfortable. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my primer. So usually uh, the primer that I always gravitate towards because I have no other primer is the e.l.f. Putty Primer and that one is my go-to i know it works fine i know it's my go-to right but i want to try a different primer and i went ahead and bought the milani um, no pore zone um, this is a modifying primer um but yeah it's my first time i'm gonna try it so let's see how it works okay so this is how it looks I don't know if we could focus on this camera. So I'm just gonna put it on the areas that I get oily. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that. And then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm gonna use the ELF foundation since I barely use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that one the reason why i don't really use this a lot is because it smells so much and it has fragrance which i don't like when they have that in the foundation but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just blend And also this foundation is a little bit orange so that's another reason why i don't use it i usually use it like in the summer but i don't want i think it's about to expire so i'm trying to use it more so i was recording for almost 30 minutes and then i think i ran out of space for my iphone and the recording automatically stopped and when that happens it doesn't save the video so wherever i was recording it got deleted but i just you know want to recap what i have done already so i apply my concealer underneath my eyes i use the concealer the elf in the shade light beige and right now i am applying a second layer on my forehead because honestly you guys honestly this foundation that i use the elf foundation i don't remember that foundation you guys every time every time it just leaves my face feeling cakey if it's the primer then okay i'll understand so i'll have to test this with another foundation um but i don't think it's the primer you guys i was talking about what i've been through in 2021 um which i have to repeat myself again which is okay because obviously i want you guys to listen but honestly i forgot <laughs> so hopefully i remember everything that i said um but basically what i was saying is that 2021 wasn't the year for me you guys it really wasn't i wish i was saying the opposite but i'm gonna apply more concealer you guys i don't like how this is coming out 2021 wasn't the year for me because my mood i feel like my mood was so weird my motivation drastically went down to the ground and I think it was a year for me to reflect and think about think about just stuff that I have to do. Um, this, despite you know having obstacles, this despite all the negativity and the mental health. Obviously, you have to pay attention about your mental health, but like 
mental health sometimes is so strong you guys that it wins mental health ends up winning which is not okay because i feel like even though i go through you know mental health i i want to still have motivation i want to still have a feeling that things are gonna be okay you know and sometimes when you start thinking negative you start overthinking and stuff like that and that is what happened to me i feel like i was not in the present moment i was too much of like what if this and that what if in the future what if this and that you know i know it wasn't okay so whenever i felt like that you guys i will go to bed and i will reflect and i will tell myself like why am i feeling that way you know why do i feel that not motivated like where is the issue coming from and i want to share those with you you guys so that way maybe if you're going through the same thing or something similar then you can just know that you're not alone that i deal with that as well you know when i started my youtube channel you guys i started my youtube channel um i was also in a place you know my life is just a roller coaster but when i started my youtube channel um i i was also in a place where um where i was mentally not well but but at that time i felt like more stronger i felt like I, I was able to you know overcome whatever i was going for going through so i started my youtube channel right away i didn't think about it twice i was like this is what i want to do this is my hobby i don't know if you guys see this i don't like my makeup like i don't like my makeup you guys i'm gonna wipe this out out yep i'm gonna wipe it out guys. all right you guys so I ended up not taking it off because I was like, I don't have a lot of time. So what I did is add a little bit bronzer, hoping that the skin is a little bit better. But honestly, you guys, I don't feel good about the skin. <laughs> it's just that the foundation is so weird. I don't know if you guys could see like my forehead. I'm going to keep you guys updated if it was the primer or if it was the foundation which i'm pretty sure is a foundation because i've used it before and i had the same issue when i use my other foundations i don't have the issue so it's the foundation so i am using the translucent Re makeup revolution powder and i really like this one because it just bakes your face super super good but yeah you guys i was saying but my life the yeah like i go through those moments where i'm like fuck like like i want to do so many things but then it's like you know i have things going on and then i'm like but i don't want to make excuses you know i don't know it, it, i was just mentally not there you guys i was and i didn't want to record and sound like i was not in the mood you know i didn't want to do that as well so as much as I wanted to record you guys, I just couldn't. But this year, I'm like, mm -mm. I'm gonna find a way. Like, you know, I have to find a way. I want to do this. I want to record a video. And yeah, and the reason why I wanna do it is because I love, you know, I love uh, having a hobby to do. And I find that makeup is like a therapy to me like it is to many other beauties out there and yeah i just want to be part of that beauty world and yeah you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows so i'm gonna pause this video again because my eyebrows take so long to do um and i'll be right back with you guys all right you guys so i finished doing my eyebrows honestly i'm not going too crazy I'm just, you know, doing my everyday makeup look. Um, 
I'm going to apply translucent powder underneath my eyes because I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So for a neutral look, you guys, I like to use the Morphe palette because it has a lot of lovely neutral colors. Um, so this is the palette. Um, some of the palettes are broken, so don't mind that. Oh, this chair is hurting my butt. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this baby right here. This neutral brown shade and i'm going to start blending it all over my lids just apply it on the outer corner um but yes you guys so the thing that i basically struggled was finding the right time to create content and working out so this year i'm definitely gonna plan very carefully and manage learn how to manage my time you guys because that's an issue that i have i don't know how to manage my time correctly so 2022 <laughs> you better be ready for me and you guys like as much as I want to be motivated in 2021, I don't know. Like, emotionally, I was not well, you know. Um, I was not well. And I'm going to tell you a little bit detail of the thing that affected my emotions was my relationship with my boyfriend. Um, they were like two occasions i laugh about it right now but at that time i wasn't laughing about it but um there were two occasions we almost took a break and i told him like he he knew about it like i'm going through this mental stuff and i feel like i'm affecting our relationship i got mad very easily i was like, I mean, I'm, I'm impatient. So imagine when I'm not in the mood, I become a different person, you guys. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of it had to do with work. I was working a lot. Um, ever since I got promoted, now I work full time. Um, full time meaning 40 hours and eight hours, 40 hours a week and eight hours a day. Basically the job that I have right now is where I, is where the income, you know, comes from. It's where I'm able to pay my rent, it's where I'm able to pay my bills and stuff like that. So, you know, I have to take the job seriously, but then again, I have a life. I have a life, so I had to figure out a way to not overwork. I think that's what I have to learn this year, you guys. That's what I, not learn because I already know. That's what I need to do this year, you guys. Um, and right now I'm talking to myself because I'll be like, yes, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then I don't end up doing it. This year needs to be my year. That's my plan for 2022 to help myself grow and grow as a person and i don't blame whatever i'm going through to my work i don't blame it to 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 anyone because at the end of the day i'm the one who needs to change my mindset be positive and just work on myself and be happy because if i'm happy then everything else just is better you know So definitely, you guys, I want to do a different type of makeup videos. I want to continue doing makeup videos, makeup tutorials and stuff. But I want to change it a little bit. Like right now, I'm doing like a little blog, talking about life, you know. And I want to make it more interesting. I don't want to always be like, today I'm doing a purple eyeshadow, uh, natural glam look, you know. Like I want to make it different and i want you guys to 
get to know me better um and to, just talk about life so that way you guys can find something similar or learn something with my life that i'm going through um so that's that i also want to do like some um hauls like clothing hauls and stuff like that um so yeah i'm really planning things out you guys and i even move my room around so that way i'm able to record the best way possible so i may work in you guys i mean I think that this quarantine helped me just realize to appreciate life and not go through your day without doing at least one thing that you wanted to do, you know? So that was that. Um, I'm gonna remove my, I don't know why I'm whispering you guys. Like, I think that's one of my, not, not issue, but like, that's one of my personality that when I feel comfortable, you guys, I don't tend to speak loud. Um, I just tend to, you know, be calm, just speak, you know, speak calmly, have this atmosphere where everything is just about talking about life and nothing else. So if <laughs> it feels like I'm whispering, I'm sorry about that. Oh my god. You see, guys? <laughs> Do you see this? This is insane. Like, this never happens with other foundations. Anyways, I'm not gonna focus on that. Because whenever I, ha I had a feeling, you guys, that that foundation was like... Whenever I have a special occasions, whenever I'm going out or whenever I'm doing a filming... I don't use that foundation rarely i use it but today i was like you know what because i don't use it a lot let me use it you know and look this is why i don't use it a lot all right you guys i'm just gonna leave it like that i'm not gonna touch anymore because the more i touch it the more mess it's gonna get i'm gonna use my curler but yeah you guys like i was saying that's my goal for 2022 you guys um come back to the youtube world and do what i do best which is create content and also get back to the gym and if you guys want me to like keep you guys updated on how i'm doing um I will be gladly to share that with you guys. I think there will be like a few blogs here and there like this, like very similar to this. So if you guys enjoy this type of conversation, enjoy this type of, you know, get sit down and get ready with me, um, then definitely like this video so I know. All right, you guys, so I'm going to apply my falsies and I'm going to grab my tweezer. And I usually grab them from the edge. And usually I don't cut these um, lashes. I just apply them like that because I feel like the length is um, perfect. All right, guys. So I already applied my lashes. Um, if you guys hear somebody in the back, those are my neighbors. So I recently bought this um, blush. <laughs> Why did I forget the name? So I recently bought this blush. Uh, this is the brand Flower. Uh, my first time trying th the brand. And this is in the, in the shade Berry. It says that it's a soft satin finish, which is very true. You guys, this is super, super pigmented and very, very lovely um, blush. So I'm just going to apply it right over here. Just be careful because, again, it is pigmented. So you just want to apply a small amount. So usually I start like on the high end of my cheeks. And then whatever I have left, I just blend it on my cheek, the app of my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and apply. If I keep going like this, you guys, it's because I have my stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and the side of my face 
and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my highlighter. I'm gonna use the Benefit highlighter. I'm gonna apply a white um, eyeliner. So last but not least, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. Um, I don't know what color I want. I definitely want something new. Um, okay, I'm going to use the Morphe pencil in the shade Coffee and Kissy. And I'm going to go ahead and sharpen it. Okay, and now I'm gonna apply my lipstick. I'm gonna apply the shade Libra from the Juvia's lipstick. And now I'm gonna spray my entire face. All right, you guys, so this is my complete makeup look. Um, let me know if you guys um, like it and how it turned out. I'm far away, it doesn't look bad, but like I said, like the foundation is just not doing it for me. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, um, this again, this is my first time filming in an iPhone. So again, I close finger that the video is going to turn out good when I edit it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you want to see something more like this, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to now go ahead and change and get ready and go and visit my family and spend time with my little brother who is turning nine. And Feliz Dia de los Reyes Magos. Um, but the time that you're going to be watching it is going to be past due. So Feliz Dia de los Reyes Magos. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much if you made it to the end. <coughs> And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And also, if you enjoyed this video, give, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, uh, without any further ado, I hope to see you guys in my next video.